Hello, Fair. My name is Kimberly Wilson. I'm excited to show you the latest Tranquility Du Jour Daybook and give you some tips on how to make it your very own. So one thing I want to do is show you in the table of contents some of the new things that we've added and ways to work with these. So we have, of course, our monthly, weekly, and daily tranquility tools that are all laid out and will actually be offered in an e-class e format, 24 days of tranquility. And then we also, per your request, have more inspiration pages, 10 at the front and 10 at the end. And these are ways where you can, pages you can take notes during meetings, conferences, or as ideas float into your head, or even do art journaling with it. And then always have it with you. Then, of course, we have our planner pages. So this is where you really get into the nitty-gritty of your everyday life. We also have Wheels of Life. And this year, as you'll see, I have actually changed it so that the Wheels of Life align with the different parts of Tranquilology. So every season, quarterly assessing, how do I feel about work, style, creativity, dreams, do-gooding, nesting, self-care, and mindfulness on a scale of zero, not so great, to ten, fabulous. Right, and then we've got our mindfulness practice log, and I'm also going to have a PDF format version that you can download online because there's just one week's worth in here. And of course, there's 52 weeks in a year, and I want you to be able to really reflect on, as you're incorporating more mindfulness habits, what changes you observe. Then, of course, we've got Savvy Sources, which are also updated to align with Tranquilology's eight different topics. Dates to remember, so anniversaries, birthdays, many petty dates, hair dates, um, anything that you just want to make sure that you're like, oh, okay, this is the date I went in and got my kitty's rabies shot or whatever, so that you can make sure that you're back in a year or the dentist, etc. Data to remember those passwords you maybe forget or the login information. I always had that issue with graduate school. What was it? Um, and where do I show up for class? So that can be a really helpful piece. And then also 2014 and 2015 at a glance. So completely laid out sections, as you'll see. And these are really lovely because this is how I've been planning this year with last year's daybook of just kind of writing out, okay, so I'll be in Paris this month or I'll be on a retreat or leading a workshop this day. And so this can be a really helpful tool. And then of course, notes at the bottom. And then finally, at the very end, we have a nice little over a little love note. So that is what we've got kind of pulled together for you in this new version. So what I wanted to do is show you just a few ways to add a little bit of flair to your own. Now those of you who get the ephemera packet, you've got these great little pockets which are wonderful for inserting things like these little stickers so that you can use them as you're sending snail mail. Also you get tags and these tags are really great. You can create your kind of months with it or you can use the little month labels that come with it. You just write out the month and then you insert them. You'll see I've done that for January and February. You can also use these though forever for for also for inspiration pages or anything along those lines that you want to write. What I did is I have taken a little pink tab and then I have stamped it. So I used my love stamp Voila! And so that'll just be a nice little reminder to look at these pages and these will be all about kind of love and reflection. And then I, of course, sealed it in with our lovely Japanese washi tape, which is my go-to for inspiration. One other tool I wanted to show that's really great too, for those of you who don't necessarily want to write out your dates, is you could stamp them. You can get these great little library stamps online or at your local craft store, and then you would just use the ink pad and then put the dates in for each, each day of the year. So that's another kind of fun option. Stamps in general, I love these that I picked up online, little bonjour rubber stamps, and they're just fun. I, I mainly use Merci. But then we also have bonjour, you know, so these can just be really fun to add just a little bit of flair to your day book. So I'm actually going to put this kind of right up at the front and I'm going to stamp it on my little library card. And one other thing that I plan to insert in the front is my 
kind of weekly and monthly and daily checklist that's all kind of pulled together that came in the postcard that was with your day books. And you'll notice the front was the Tranquilology cover. But it's all just going to have this so that I can just continually like have a nice little reminder about keeping these tools as part of my everyday reality. And then of course the washi tape is just like the go-to. And one thing I also love are these little stickers. So for instance, one thing as you know, you're reflecting on the year ahead and you've got your daily checklist. So think about, okay, did I eat my veggies today? You can give yourself a little star or you can put it in even in your month, you know, as you're feeling this out, your January, or of course you can use your date stamp. And then maybe, you know, like, okay, well, the 22nd is my 10 year anniversary. I will then put a little sticker there so that I know the 22nd right here 10 year anniversary and so that's just a reminder of something that's special. One other thing that's in your ephemera packs that I just love are these appointment cards and these appointment cards say let's mingle what why when where and then these are fun to pass out to friends as just a little reminder about your dates but you can also use these as tabs. So you could either put them long-wise or short-wise. Now I've of course used the smaller tabs, but these might be cute for, maybe for the data to remember. So you could stick it in and then attach it with your Japanese masking tape. And then you'll have the super cute tab for your data or dates to remember. Also, I wanted to of course, these are, as I mentioned, are just darling to add in for various things, but you can also use your baker's twine, attach it, put a cute little stamp. Like, you know, my big, I think my word of the year for 2014 is going to be all about simplicity. So but maybe you could take something like simplicity or I've got believe. I love this. I love this stamp, believe. Stamp it and then add it. And then you can just kind of like tie it. The, the great thing about the spiral binding, it's really cute for tying things on. Tie it on. And voila, you've got this great little reminder about a word of the year or a theme, believe. And so then closes, no problem. So those are a few ways to enhance this day book. And just a reminder, we have put the checklists associated with every single day. So whenever you turn to this Monday, you've got your eight items to really make sure are part of your every day. Then you've got it, of course, also in the week, along with your MITs. What are the three to five most important things I want to make sure I accomplish this week? And then our journal prompts. So for instance, the week I've just turned to, how can I get more stillness, solitude, and peace in my life. And then you could write it down here or you could turn to and write it in your own personal journal. So I hope you enjoy all the enhanced additions that we've added to this. And my hope is that this is a way for you to stay tranquil, mindful, creative, and connected to your most important dreams and your weekly most important tasks. So thanks so much for joining me on this journey. And please send photos. I can't wait to see what you create to Kimberly at KimberlyWilson.com. Thank you and wishing you a wonderful year ahead. Thank mm -hmm. you.